that has one sharpened leg, but that's of course not enough. We want to go a little bit deeper and stake this in. So yes, we carve it, but we do everything else very mechanically up to that point. All right, and two more stakes with this. All right, and there we go. Now when we get to the panel, we do the same thing, staking in the arches in it. So where are we? Got this done. I guess we're ready now to start uh, taking that out now. We're going to cut that little shoulder. And I have a, an unusual tool uh, that I'm going to, I have set up in an unusual manner uh, that I think will amuse you. Yes, indeed. I'm going to set this now flush to the top. This is critical here, so bear with me as I get this flush to the top of the vise. I want this flush with the bench because I'm extending the bed surface that I can use for this tool. This is a router. Now you've seen me use a router plane before with the iron down in here, you know, working and I work their blade around. But wait, where'd the iron go? Where'd the blade go? It's gone. All right. I've got it riding outboard. There, look at that. Side saddle. Weirdness. Uh, it will, I'm going to adjust it up a good bit now. Let's see, I'm going to tune it up turn it up to cut a little shallower. I mean, it is outboard, but I don't want it cutting a quarter inch deep on the first pass. Let's see. So we want to get just as deep as we staked in right there. Let's try it like that. And we'll just see how it goes. So I've got that blade out there and that's going to help me see what I'm doing. And it has the added benefit that you can see it better too. So here we go. And the bed of the router is riding on both the bench, the vise, and the wood. And we just work that diamond point bit of the router plane under the grain, swinging it around, sweeping away, working our way down incrementally. Let's see if I can get it right there. There we go. Working our way incrementally down till we cut that sixteenth of an inch shoulder all the way around. See, you can just kind of swing it like a clock like that. All right, so now we'll give it another little deep uh, depthening. There we go. A little bit more. Let's give it even a little bit more. All right. There we are. Yeah, wonderful. All right, so just keep working your way down with this until you've gone down a sixteenth of an inch. And you can take, you can split off a lot of wood uh, right at the starting ones and then slow down your increments that you move this. You know, in other words, you don't move it quite as deep on the final moves. And that way you can do a very, very smooth uh, cut right at the end. All right, so there we go. That's our router and it's a great tool to show folks because it really exemplifies how a plane works. You can see it more clearly, a bed with an iron, a cutting iron hanging a fixed depth below the bed. That's what a router does. So we cut that sixteenth of an inch shoulder. Let me show you the way that one looks. You see that, that shoulder there now. All right, now we got to round that over. But here's one a little bit farther along. We'll go ahead and use this one uh, just because it's cleaner. And see how it goes. Clamp it up. And again, that little spoke shape can do it. Now, all we have to do is continue that round all the way around. This is what you said by carving. Just, car just carve it. All right. So here I'm going to start with the little tiny spoke shave. You could do this with a chisel. You can do it with a big spoke shave. You've got plenty of room to get in there. So you get in and just shave down that side. Look at that. That beautiful. Oh, don't go too flat. And then I may have gone too flat there. I'm going to come around this side now and do the back. All right. And this is just the start now. So you move most of the wood with this, the simplest tool. And again, it's control. It's incremental. You can't bust off a big, huge piece with this. But you can take one stroke too many, which I may have done. All right. But now we'll uh, see if we can remedy that with this tool. This is the tool we're going to use. It's another in cannel gouge. And see how it's beveled on the inside there. See the bevels on the inside of the gouge. Uh, this is the tool we're going to use to make our scribed joints that connect up. But right here, in this case, we're going to use it to ride down the grain and bring this to a perfect smoothness. There, yeah, there we go. So it's again, when we get to the bottom, there's a little bit of 
Klingons right there. We'll have to come back from the other angle. But again, turning the bevel down, the bevel is against the wood. That gives us clearance to round this around. So let's see, we'll just take a look at what I've done. And then move on to that panel. I want you to see the panel because this is just the, the frame. You can see, uh, you can see it taking shape right there. Look at that, it's starting to get that nice a rounded look. So that's all you do, you just carve it. Uh, it's step by step. You got a lot of steps to get there. All right, let's see. I, I may need that. I may need that. Uh, let's go ahead. So here we are. We've done this part now. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. And uh,